Now to the Los Angeles area where officials believe three tragic crime scenes, a murder, a fatal crash, and the death of an infant found on the freeway are all related. Fox 11's Haley Winslow is joining us live now from Redondo Beach near the site of the deadly crash. Haley, what more can you tell us? Lexi, nearly an entire family was killed within a couple of hours of each other in three different locations and under vastly different circumstances, but all circumstances that seemed so preventable. And now a little girl is left with scars that will likely never heal. A tragic end in Redondo Beach Monday morning leaves a nine-year-old girl in the hospital suddenly all alone. She lost her whole family in three different locations. Even though I do this every day, this definitely hits home. It hits definitely different when it's a kid that, you know, didn't really have a chance, especially an infant, a baby, you know, that's really helpless. And just to see this is very traumatic. That baby was killed on the side of the freeway in front of her older sister. It was about 4.30 in the morning on the 405 North near Howard Hughes, and a driver saw the two girls stopped and called 911. We did have a witness who called this in. They did stop. They're the ones that, you know, put out that information. They said there was a dark sedan vehicle in the area at the time. Investigators from several different law enforcement agencies are working to piece this all together, but they believe it started with a domestic dispute at the Montecito apartment complex in Woodland Hills. Sources say a woman in her mid 30s stabbed her partner, killing him and then took off with the kids in a black Porsche. The big question, how did the girls end up on such a busy freeway? Detectives are trying to figure out if they fell or were pushed out of the car. Do their injuries give you any kind of indication as to what happened to these kids? Great question. So as far as the type of injuries, there's some sort of trauma going on with these injuries. However, there's so many different things that could have happened to how that you know, took place. I would think dash cameras in people's cars if they were driving the area four or five o'clock this morning could really help you guys. That would be huge. Yes. Yeah, so like I said, anybody that was in that area, that general area, you know, four to five a.m. in the 405 area between, you know, Howard Hughes, Sentinella is where we're putting it out. Every little thing could help us out at this point to to get to the bottom of this. Inside this now mangled Porsche, sources say was the girl's mom who died when she crashed into a tree near a church in Redondo Beach, leaving the nine year old girl the sole survivor in this awful tragedy. And that little girl is expected to survive and recover from her traumatic injuries, at least physically, but the mental and the emotional battles that she'll be going through from the memories of this morning will likely stay with her for the rest of her life. Reporting live in Culver City at CHP in West LA, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. Back to you, Lexi. Yeah, just horrific. Haley, thank you. All right, well, to help us piece together even further what happened here, we want to bring in Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez, who's joining us live now, and she's in the Woodland Hills area where someone was murdered. Christina. And this is where that family actually lived. We know that much. We know they moved in here about a year and a half ago pretty much kept to themselves. But when people started hearing screaming last night at about 3.30, they didn't think too much of it because they had heard screaming from the apartment before, but then there was a blood coming out of the apartment. Here's what people are saying, listen. I heard screaming. Could you make out if it was a man or a woman? Screaming? I heard a little, a, a, a little girl screaming. It was a little girl screaming. And, and a, a mom, I think. What residents at the Montecito Apartments in Woodland Hills heard about 3.30 in the morning coming out of a neighboring apartment where a young couple, a nine-year-old girl, and an infant were living. Someone screaming for help. For help. I heard this big thump. It sounded like a bowling ball hitting the... My whole ceiling vibrated. That was probably the sound of a vehicle crashing through the building's apartment gate as it sped out of the parking lot. Then... Walked out our front door and to the left is their door and their door was wide open and there was blood all throughout their front door all the way to the hallway leading to the elevator and blood on the walls. So then I called my dad. I went into the apartment. I stepped over blood puddles and and checked on the body and, and uh, saw that he was dead. He was face down and um, they, um, uh, I called 911 of course. 
It wasn't until later many of the residents at the apartment building realized the two children ejected from a vehicle on the 405 freeway were the same ones living in the apartment where the man was found dead. No. Oh my gosh, the girl used to play with my daughter. That's so sad. Any indication ever that something was going on there that could possibly even close to end in a bad way? Our neighbors have heard fighting and I've heard fighting, but not... I could never imagine this. You don't think your neighbor's going to get murdered, no. Well, a lot is going on up there, and, you know, at one point I was thinking of calling Child Protective Services, but... Why? I, because I had a... I don't know. I just did. Then the baby didn't make it? Because I saw... Oh, my God. I'm, like, going to be sick. And back here live, I'll tell you, even some of the responding officers are pretty upset about it. They just removed a parakeet and two bunny rabbits. They're fine. They're alive. They are the pets belonging to those children. It's a very difficult crime scene, though, and one that they are still processing. Live in Woodland Hills, I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you guys. Christina, thank you. What an awful story. We appreciate your reporting on, on this and the very latest updates here.